Okay, real quick video here. I wanted to show off this thing that I found. Uh, I was down in Lodi, California at this kind of antique secondhand kind of a store and I came across this and it's like one of the most coolest things I've ever seen. So I thought, let me throw this on there and see what you guys think about this. Um, so what we have here, what we have here is a, I think it's pronounced minette. See if I can get a close-up of that. Hopefully you can read that, this little print. M-I-N-E-T-T-E, -E, Minette, Minette. Uh, it's not French, it's actually Japanese. This was a, from what I can tell, it's really hard to find information on this company, but this was a Japanese um, kind of camera company and some components. They did like um, microfish readers maybe and like little jewelry, little those eye things that you look through for jewelry, whatever they call them. Um, and just optics and things like that. But this is another product they produced and they started off in the 50s and uh, they, they were in business through like the 70s. Um, and so I found this. This is actually, a, I'll get into it here in a second, but this is actually a kind of like a portable tripod back in the day. Um, and it's just, it's just pretty fabulous how they made it. So I want to show this thing off. Um, so first start off with the case. So it's got this leather case, real leather. It's got this really heavy metal tooth zipper. Um, it's got this metal like base, I guess, or stand or protector um, on the bottom. And it's, it's pretty solid. So I'm guessing because it's stamped and on the inside it's also the same, it says made in Japan. I don't, you probably can't see that, it's on the handle. And then on the back side of the plate on the inside it says Japan. And because it doesn't say occupied Japan, it was probably made after I think 1951 is when they stopped doing that. So this was probably made in the either the 50s or the early 60s is what I'm thinking. And plus there's hardly any plastic. It's like all really nice metal. So let's get into this thing and take a look at it because it's just, it's just fabulous. You do not see things like this anymore. Um, anyway, I love, I love the leather and I love this metal zipper. But let's take a look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that. When you open it up, whoa. just look at the craftsmanship. Now this thing is what, 60 years old maybe? And it's just like in great shape. So, oh wait, let me show you one more thing. You probably can't make it out, but even on the inside of the, of the leather, there's, there's fabric and it's got some kind of, it's probably their, their logo, but it's got this like little yellow design, little spots, like little shields or whatever, probably their corporate logo was at the time. So it's really nice quality. Okay, so the item itself, I think I picked this thing up for like maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Um, and it does show some wear. It's got some scratches on it, but the craftsmanship on it is just, there's the, I don't know if I can get that. There's the detail, the, the company name, Mignette. Um, it's got this metal knurled, knurled, knurled um, knob. So you screw in the, you know, the camera. And this is actually a standard. It fits my camera, I tried it out. And there's like this little rubber plate. Um, and really the only plastic on it is this little thumb screw. There's a, there's a screw that goes down this pipe that actually you use to tighten it, to tighten the, there's a screw that goes in and tighten up on that ball so it doesn't flop around. Um, and then the other piece of plastic is on this little handle, but this is metal. And so it flips out. I'll have to demonstrate this in a second. And then it's got little rubber feet on the bottom. But other than that, it's all metal. I guess there's a rubber stopper right here too, but so it stands up and it's obviously it's, it's metal, so it's super sturdy and then this thing turns to lock it in place and so you tighten it and then that locks the head around the, um, the top of the camera, you know, so it's like floating on top and so you lock it where you need it and then this little wheel operates the the gears <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> I could do this all day I do some circus music um, but it, it, it's just it's just nice and then these are all it's all cut metal and there's, so there's obviously a metal gear in there and it's just smooth it's not 
it's like a machine. It's not plastic and rickety. And then when you get it to the height you want, there's like a locking screw, metal, a little locking clamp here that locks this on the height that you need. Um, but just metal screws. It's just really well designed. I did put my camera on there, my, my this one, the 880D, the Canon 80D. Um, I didn't have like a telephoto lens, obviously, but it, it held the camera fine. I was pretty confident. Um, it's not like I would not worry um, setting this thing up. I probably should be worried, but I was like, hey, this is great. So um, I think this is probably like 11 inches height. But now here's the other cool part. I didn't realize this when I bought it. I thought this was just like a miniature camera. But the legs um, telescope out. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this or not. But they pull out metal. And it's like if <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy right here, we used to have radio antennas on AM radios. And they were telescoped out just like this does. Um, but th these are metal and they telescope out. I'm hoping this shows up. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Maybe if I get farther away. And so this actually, this tripod will telescope all the way out to 48 inches high. Four feet. And you can hear it. So it's got these pins that locks into place once it's at its full height. I'm probably away. It's just, a, and it's got a little grease on it already still. But it, um, so you can adjust it to stand at 48 inches high and it's got these little um, pins and you push those pins in to get it to retract. I don't know if I can show that or not. And that's how it retracts back. So you just pop these things out, extend it out, and set your tripod up. And you got like a 48 inch tripod. And then it's a little bit trickier trying to collapse it because they are locked in place. So you got to push the pins in and then collapse it down a little bit, push the next one in, collapse it down a little bit. I don't think this is going to show up very well on the camera. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I hope you're impressed. That's like one of the coolest finds I've had in a long time for 30 bucks, and it's solid. I would totally use this. Anyway, I just wanted to show this thing off. It was just, I've never seen anything, I'm sure, you know, obviously probably there's a lot of professionals know exactly what this is, but as more of a um, amateur photographer, I thought, yeah, wow, this is really cool. And I just wish that they still made stuff like this today. This type of quality. I mean, this thing lasts, this thing will last hundreds of years versus that junk you buy now that's plastic and you throw it away after five years and have to buy something new because it sucks. This is what we should be building now. Anyway, so there it is. It's called the Mignette uh, Telescoping Tripod maybe. Uh, I cannot find a model number. I've seen some that say like S5 and S7, but if anybody knows more about this company or about this product, um, let me know because it's it to me it's really something. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. OPG's out.